morning. Hey guys. Yo, what's up, guys? So, I'm guessing you've all read the text. Gypsy yeah. Cab is good to go. But because of coronavirus, we're going to have to crowdfund again as considerations have driven our expenses up. Oh, yeah, and by the way, guys, let's uh, just re welcome Lauren, our new art director. Uh, trained in COVID supervision as well, actually. And for Lauren's sake, I think it's best that we quickly introduce ourselves. I'm Tuhin, the writer and producer. Hi, I'm Ruha, the director and editor. I'm Sam, I'm the cinematographer and the colorist. Hi, I'm Bianca, the sound designer. No, cheers for the introduction. I really appreciate it. I'm really looking forward to working on Gypsy Cab with you lot. No, definitely. Bye. All right, see you later. So Tuhin, I just read the script and I wanted to know, like, how did you come up with this? Um, I mean, I remember I had four hours into a deadline and I didn't really know what to write about and I was so stressed because I left it so late. So then um, I began scrolling through YouTube and I came across this Scorsese video where he basically says, make your own industry. Okay. So from then I thought, okay, what kind of dramatic event from my life can I now use to, you know, make a script? And I remember one time my dad allegedly got mugged while he was out on a night shift in his cab. And I basically used that as the climax of the story and built Gypsy Cab around it. Whoa. Okay, that's a story. <laughs> but uh, tell me a little bit more about the narrative. Yeah, of course. So our protagonist, Fayaz, is a Kashmiri immigrant in the UK. And he's basically sacrificed living with his family back home in order to provide for them. But I would say that the heart of the story is really about a man unable to break out of his imprisonment and left alone to navigate this new world by himself as a cab driver. And um, it's set in a post-Brexit uh, COVID-19 reality, so that kind of ups the stakes of it as well. Okay, so this is like a survival story because the way I see it, Fire's sort of has sort of has that sacrificial nature that we all have inside of us really exactly and i think that's why this narrative is increasingly more relevant today especially with how the pandemic has shaped our current society um you know we touch upon topics from immigration to wealth inequality and questions of morality as well as the Kashmir conflicts and class divisions. And to be honest, the list goes on. And as the writer and producer, I personally feel like it's my civic duty and the necessity to tell stories about these kind of underrepresented groups, especially being a minority myself. Um, so yeah. Oh. oh, I think Sam's calling. Right yeah, now. I just saw. Pull me back in about an hour. Uh, no worries. Hey Tim. Hey Sam. Let me just take a look at the budget you took. Sure, go ahead. Damn. I know. You're kind of killing me here. I know, it's ambitious, but hey, looking at the test footage we did in the past year, mm -hmm. we can see how well the camera performs in low light and how smooth the shot looks using a stabilizer. So, as our goal is to put the audience in the character's shoes and make them feel what he's going through in the story, I think it's quite essential. Yeah, Interesting. you've hit the nail on the head with the aesthetic, so I guess the only thing to do for now is just keep me in the loop and uh, let's catch up after lunch. That's it. Um, by the way, to him, what happens to the donations if production gets cancelled again, like last year? In the event that Gypsy Cab is cancelled, we'll calculate what we've spent in accordance with what we've raised and then refund donors accordingly, proportional to what they had donated. Hey, I just emailed my COVID-19 supervision certificate over. Yep, just got that. A uh, quick rundown on the budget while I have you guys here. Um, essentially, our top expenses seem to be travel and equipment. Um, it's absolutely essential that we get that PPE amount because the safety of the cast and the crew is my number one concern. Now, in terms of looking at the overall budget, I know it's hard times right now. You know, everyone's kind of going through the motions with COVID-19, but Hopefully people can see how pertinent a story like this is and we'd be able to raise the full amount. Yeah, hopefully we reach the target. And by the way guys, those slides they look really nice. Yeah, well done guys. And I certainly do hope that we get to make this film happen. Bye. Bye. See you guys.